Hello, Christian. Welcome. Hi, Luis. Hi, Marielos. Hi, Liana. Hi, Stefania. Welcome. Sorry, guys. Solamente estoy tratando de verificar algo acá in my computer. And we will start. Okay. See. Okay. Oh my God, who, ah, okay, Amilka, right? Okay, Amilka. No, it's not Amilka, it is Sabrina, sorry. Sabrina, okay, Maggie. Sorry, guys, solamente respondo sus uh, messages. Um, I'm not sure I don't know if I'm going to listen Bye. Vamos a ver. Um, who else? Who else? Who else? Okay, Jarexa. Okay, guys, I will go through the attendance list. Thank you very much for being on time and for being on the class. Give me a second and I will go through the attendance list. Please do me a favor and say um, present and turn on the camera for the attendance list, guys. One moment. Okay. Ángela Estefanía Marroquín Martínez. Present. Great. Okay. Today is Tuesday, the 5th. Okay. Uh, Cristian José López Pérez. Present. Estela Mabel Orellana del Cid. Present, teacher. Ileana Carolina Calderón Cisneros. Present teacher. Great. One moment. Ismael Arturo Morán Vázquez. Presente. Jaime Antonio Velar Cortés. Present teacher. Jessica del Carmen Vázquez Vázquez. Present. Jonathan Alexis González Torres. Present Jorge. teacher. Jorge Antonio Feliciano Rivera. Jorge Antonio Feliciano Rivera. José Nelson Ruiz Moreno. Julio César Ramírez Arevalo. Madrugó, andaba así ya con sueño. Sorry, guys, lo podemos tirar un ratito. Jonathan, ¿qué se nos había hecho? No lo veo, pero I heard, I heard him. Ay, ya me ha pasado a dejar. Jonathan. Lo escuché por ahí, pero ok, let's continue. Voy a estar viviendo un ratito, teacher. Ah, it's fine. Thank you. Uh, Kenny Lizette Coyer de Barrientos. Present teacher. Linda Magali García Montoya. Present teacher. Luis Ernesto Gómez García. Present teacher. Uh, Marcos Antonio Melgar Pérez. Ok. Uh, Marielo Janet Cornejo Erazo. 
Present teacher. Present. Thank you. Marta Lidia Godínez. Sorry, guys. Marta, okay. Sabrina Lizette García Orellana. Walter Alexander Lemus Medina. Present. Marcos Amil Carmancía Gutiérrez. Present. Lucía Azucena Chica de Claros. Present. Surma Yarixa Oliva Córdoba. Present. Constanza Osmara Cáceres Trinidad. Ok, let's see. Carla Elizabeth Escobar Esquivel. Present. Lizeth del Carmen Hernández Miss Me. Present. Ok, great. Thank you guys. Okay, let's see. One moment. Wow, Carla, we were doing the same thing. <laughs> I was also drinking water. <laughs> okay. Um, well, guys, we will start the class. One moment. Mm. And. Okay. Wow, guys, this is a like class 17. Okay, 17 that are missing. Three more classes and we are done, okay? So don't miss those three classes, guys. Don't miss them, okay? Wow, three more classes. That's unbelievable. And then we go to vacations, okay? Um, vacations, the holidays. So I hope that you can enjoy them, okay? Enjoy your vacations, guys. Enjoy them a lot, okay? Pero acá sí es vacations. Okay, guys. Para los que tienen y para los que no. <laughs> Are you watching the screen? Ven la pantalla. Creo que se ha quedado un poquito frozen. Dele un segundo al hamster de mi compu, please. Okay, it's working. Okay, guys, so the topic for today's class is how to use so and such, okay? So, um, this is the class 17, but before going to this topic, we have a conversation here. It's a little bit long, convers uh, long conversation, yes, it's a long conversation, and we will talk about, I mean, we will try to discuss about the conversation, try to repeat it and understand it. Okay, so this is a conversation between a bank clerk and a customer. Do you, don't, do you know the meaning of bank clerk, guys? What is a bank clerk? Mm -hmm. No idea? No. No idea about clerk? So, guys, a bank clerk is an employee of the bank. <laughs> okay? A bank employee. That's the main of bank clerk. So, um, we had a conversation about them. So, let's listen to the conversation. And then... We will repeat it, okay? Listen to understand. Vamos a hacer como un listening acá. I will read it. You listen. 
And in the second time, you repeat, ¿ok? En la primera vez lo voy a leer todo y traten de entenderlo en la primera vez, de analizarlo. And then you um, repeat it. En la segunda vez lo van a repetir conmigo, ¿ok? And the last time we will practice. De la última vez lo vamos a practicar. So let me get a second. Okay, let me start, but let me put this color with this one. Okay, um, good morning. Uh, welcome to the Grammar Bank. How can I help you? Good morning. I would like to open a bank account. Sure then. What kind of account would you like to open? A saving account or a checking account? What's the difference? A checking account is designed to use for everyday transaction. Yet, the money is saving, savings account is meant to stay in the account and earn interest over time. I see, actually I want to apply for a credit card. That's why I need an account. Okay then, you probably want a checking account. Well, thank you, I like that. Sure, we will have uh, sure, we will have you fill out an application form. No problem. How much of the credit limit were you looking for? Sorry, let me go to the next slide. I would like 1,000 speeding limit. $1,000 speed and limit. All right, we will see what we can do. Uh, sorry guys, let me put this one, it's better. All right, we will see what we can do. We might be able to get you one of our gold cars with a one, with a 10, sorry, 10,000 speed and limit. Wonderful. Would I also collect points when I, use, when I use the car? Sure. With our gold car, you will get 10 rewards points for every dollar spent. Perfect. I have filled out the form. Do you need anything else? You just need to deposit a minimum of $250 into your new checking account. Very well, here you are. Thank you. Your account is set up now and your credit card will be mailed to your address within five to 10 business days. Thank you for your help. Have a good day. Thank you too. Thank you, you too. Okay, that's the first time of listening, guys. Um, now, Let's go ahead and listen and repeat. Listen and repeat, okay? Vamos a escuchar y repetir. Good morning, welcome to the Grammar Bank. How can I help you? Good morning. Good morning, welcome to the Grammar Bank. How can I help you? How can I help you? Good morning, I would like to open a bank account. Good morning. Good morning. I would like to open, like open the bank account. Sure then. What kind of account would you like to open? A saving account or a checking account? Sure thing. Sure thing. What kind of account would you like to open? A saving account or a checking account? What's the difference? What's the difference? 
porque iba a tener a checking account is designed to use for every transaction yes the money is in a saving account is meant sorry guys pero se escucha bastante background I will try it one more time. No sé dónde hay bastante, bastante ruido, pero no me dejes. Okay, let me do it now. Uh, a checking account is designed to use for every day transaction. Yes, the money in a... No, guys, sorry, no se escucha. Lo voy a mutear un ratito. Estoy muteado. Porque no se... Okay, thank you. Uh, all right, it's a, a checking account is designed to use for everyday transaction. Yet, the money in a saving account is meant to stay in the account and earn interest over time. Mm -hmm. A checking oh, account, account. <laughs> account is designed to use for everything everyday type of transaction. Yet, the money in the saving account is needed to stay in account and your interest over time. Over time. I see. Actually, I want to apply for a credit card. That's what I need an account. I am actually I want to apply for a credit card. That way I need a Okay then you probably want a checking account. Okay. Well, thank you. I like that. Well, thank you. I like that. Like that. Sure, we will have you fill out an application form, please. Sure, we, we, we will have an application form, please. No problem. No problem. How much of a credit limit were you looking for? How much oh, of the limit we're looking, limit we're looking for? I would like a, I would like a ten thousand dollars speeding limit. I would like a ten thousand dollars speeding limit. All right. We will see what we can do. We might be able to get you one of our gold cards with a ten thousand dollars spending limit. All right. We will All see right. what All we right. can do. We will be able to get you, to get you, get you one of our gold cards with a ten thousand dollars spending limit. Ten thousand dollars spending limit. Wonderful. Will I also collect points when I use the car? Wonderful. So collect when they use the car. Sure. With our with our gold car, you will get ten rewards points for every dollar is spent. Sure. With our gold credit card, you will get 10 rewards points for every dollar spent. Perfect. I have filled out the form. Do you need anything else? Perfect. I have filled out the form. Do you need anything else? You just need to deposit a minimum of $250 into your new checking account. You just need to, just need to deposit a minimum of $250 in your new checking account. Very well, here you are. Very well, here you are. Thank you. Your account is set up now and your credit card will be mailed to your address within five to ten business days. Thank, Thank you. you. Your Thank account you. is set, set up now, now and now. your credit card will be mailed to your address within five to ten business days. 
thank you for your help. Have a good day. Thank, thank you, you for your you. help. Have a good day. Thank you. You too. Thank you. Thank you. All right, guys. I would like to ask you if there's any um new vocabulary, new word that you can find here. Una un new word, una nueva palabra that you don't know, guys. No. New word? No? New, no new words there? No? No palabras nuevas, guys? Todo understood? Okay, let's see the next one. What about here? Tienen alguna palabra que you don't understand? The meaning of colored balls. Which one? What's the meaning of collect balls? Collect, collect points. Collect points? Donde dice uh, this point. one? Ah. Yes. yes. Collect yes. points? Yes. Um, recolectar puntos. Recolectar. Oh, okay. hmm? Another meaning, another new word, guys? Ah. Good job, Marcos. Other new word? Todo good? Guys, cuando yo digo male, will be male? What, the, what does it mean male? Como el correo. Correo, which one? Send. Send the... Uh, Send the email. Email? Uh, mail. Oh, mail. Uh -huh. Va a enviar a una physical address. Mail. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very good. Very good. Okay. Uh, what is the meaning of spent? Spent? Como, como cada dólar gastado. Good job. Okay, good job. Let's see here. One moment. Sorry, guys. Okay, guys. Let me ask you in English. I want to hear this in English. What is what is the what is the uh, conversation about, guys? What is the conversation about? It's um, it's about the creating a new account. Go ahead, Maven. Uh, I think it's my idea. She yeah. asked for a a new account, but uh, the bank clerk uh, mm -hmm. offered her offered her any uh, account like a credit card, I, I think, but I don't know. Uh-huh, very good, Mabel. Yes, the banker offer her a saving account or a checking account. Good job. Guys, what is the difference between a saving account and a checking account? Guys? What is the difference between a checking account and a saving account? Checking account is designed to use 
for everyday transaction. Very good. And a saving account? Um, um, saving account is meant to stay in the account and earn interest over time. Good job. Perfect. Okay, good. So how much um how much a speed limit does I mean did the customer ask for? Do you remember how much was it? It was not a, a spend limit, sorry. Uh-huh. How much? $10,000. $10,000. Very good. $10,000. Good job. Okay. And how much um, does the customer need to, I mean, how much did the customer need to deposit in the checking account? $250. $250, perfect. Guys, how long is it going to take? How long is it going to take um, for the customer to get the credit card? By mail. How long will it, I mean, is it going to take to for the customer to get the credit card by mail? Five to ten business days. Okay. All right. From five to ten business days. Good job, guys. All right. So I want a volunteer here. I want two volunteers. Who wants to help me? Two volunteers. Do voluntarios. Two volunteers. Two. Two guys, no, not all of you, just two. Me teacher. Okay, Christian. Jonathan, sorry, Jonathan. Uy, I confuse your voice. Jonathan and who else? Jonathan, okay, Jonathan and Christian, very good. Okay, <clears throat> so. Jonathan, you are the bank clerk and Christian, you are the customer, okay? Hey. Please try to do it with intonation, guys. Eh, hagan bien okay. las entonaciones, las pronunciation, las entonaciones más que todos. Háganlo como que de verdad están en esa situación, no solo por leer, all right? Let's do it. Okay. One, two, three, start. Good morning. Welcome to the Grammar Bank. How can I help you? Good morning. I would like to open a bank account. Sure. What kind of account will you like to open? A seven account or checking account? What is the difference? A checking account is designed to use for everyday transaction. Yet the money is a seven account is it's mean to stay in the account and earn interest over time. I see. Actually, I want to apply for a credit card. What is why I need an account? Okay, then you probably want a checking account. Well, thank you. I like that. Sure. We will have you fill out on application form, please. No problem. How much a, of a credit limit were you looking for? I would like a uh, 10,000 spending limit. Um, all right, we will see what we can do. We may be able to get, uh, let me, sorry, I cannot see very well the screen. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna read over once again. All right, we will see what can do. We may be able to get you one of, of gold card with a 10,000 spending limit. 
Wonderful. We'll also collect points when I use the car. Sure. With our gold card, you will get 10 rewards points for every dollar spent. Perfect. I have filled it out the four. Do you need anything else? You just need to deposit a minimum of 250 into your new checking account. Very well. Here you are. Thank you. Your account is set up now and your credit card will be mailed to your address within five to 10 business day. Thank you for your help. Have a good day. Thank you, you too. That's all. Wow, great job. I really love the intonation you had in this conversation, guys. Wonderful, okay? Good, good, good. Me gustó porque se escuchó super natural, okay? Muy natural, muy profesional. So, good job, okay? Se escuchó como una conversación. That's what I wanted. Eso es lo que quería que se escuchara como una conversación y no que sol solamente que se estuviera leyendo. So, super good. Okay, guys. So, um, one moment. Sorry. Okay, guys. So, we will go ahead and play this game. Okay, vamos a jugar este jueguito, which is called Who Am I? Okay, we will describe a famous person by saying five adjectives. The rest will guess who is the famous person. Okay, let's describe a famous person by say, saying five adjectives. So let's think all of you, todos, everyone, think, piensen en una persona famosa, one famous person, okay? One famous person, si quieren, piensen en dos para tener un backup por, por si alguien lo repite. Piensen en una famous person y póngale cinco adjetivos que más la describen a esta persona. Que ustedes saben que la otra persona les va a adivinar. Five adjectives in English, okay? So, once you get that, una vez que tenga famous person and the five adjectives, the well-described adjectives tienen que ser bien, bien uh, elegidos los adjetivos para que los podamos uh, adivinar, porque los demás vamos a estar adivinando. Una vez que lo tenga, guys, cada uno va a ir diciendo los cinco adjetivos, ¿ok? For example, let me see, let me, let me give you an example. Um, oh my God, I'm looking for a famous person right now. And it's difficult for me because that, let's see, uh, I will go ahead and describe, okay, this person. Okay, um, she's a singer, okay, she's a singer, one. Um, her hair is blonde, curly and blonde. Her hair is curly and blonde. Um, oh my God. She is humble. Yes, she is humble and I don't know how to say that. She is humble and And smiling, yes. She always smiles. Four. And oh my god, this is a, not an adjective, so it's gonna be difficult. This is not an adjective. Let me see another one from her. <laughs> it's difficult, I know. She is. Oh my God, she's she's not as small, but she's not tall. So yes, five adjectives. Do you know who is who is that person? No, she is a singer. She, I mean, her her is Carly and Bowl, Carly and Bowl. Um, 
let's see. <laughs> she's smiling and humble. And she's not tall, but she's not small. Pueden agregar otro más, aunque no sea adjetivo, para que podamos adivinar. I will say she is from Colombia. Who is this person? Guys. Shakira. Shakira. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> so, guys, agreguen una que no sea adjetivo, porque it's difficult just to describe adjectives. You can add one that cannot be adjective, okay? So it can be easy for you. But remember, you need to say, you need to describe the person and you need to say complete sentence, okay? Complete sentence. So let's have two more minutes to do it. Two more minutes to think about this. Okay, two more minutes and write them if you want. Finish, guys. Ready? Are you ready? No? Okay. Let me stop sharing, okay? Who is ready? Who wants to start? No puede estar en el día, pero hay hielo. Los gastos de la celebración y de la celebración. Go, Mr. Cortez. Go for it. Okay, go. Okay. The, Listen, um, guys. And guess, guess it. This person is so easy. <laughs> okay. So easy. Okay. Um, he is an actor in, a, in action movies. Uh, he is very humble. He does not presume with. He has been seen finding people for the from, from the street. And in his last movie, he made a massacre for a puppy. The massacre for a puppy. Yes. Wow, I don't know about movies, guys. In the last movie. In the last movies. Yes. Who is this person, guys? Mm -hmm. Any idea? Is he a comedian? No, it's action movie. Action movies. He's humble, right? You said that he's humble. What is the meaning of humble? Humble, humilde. Ah, okay. 
Could you please repeat again, and, and Mr. And Avelar? Sorry. He is an actor in a, in action movies. Okay. He is very humble. He does he does not resume guilt. Uh, okay. Uh, he has been seen in people. Can you read? <laughs> yes. Who? My favorite actor, Kenny Reeves. Kenny really? Reeves. Oh my God, I don't know about actors. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, great, perfect, good job. Okay, Mabel, go with the next one. <laughs> you can describe your fa your famous person. Thank you, okay. Jaime. Um, he's a singer. He's a famous rocker. Uh, he's all in this moment. He he's um he is a uh, white hair. But I don't know how do you say canoso in English. <laughs> and okay. He's very. Ouch! I forgot the the word. Delgado. Thin. Thin. Huh? Thin. Thin? Thin. Uh -huh, thin. Who? One thing. Puede decir también um, como gray hair, is... como gray hair. Sorry to interrupt you. Gray hair, como canoso, gray hair. Gray, gray. Mm -hmm. Gray hair. Uh -huh. Like the color. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Gray. Ah, okay. And gray he's hair. thin, right? Okay. Thin. Thin, thin. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, he is a Donald Trump. Right. He's all. He's all. Bon Jovi. Uh, music. Bon Jovi. Who? Bon Jovi. Bon Jovi. Really yes. good. Bon Jovi. I was thinking about Axel Rose, but then I said no, he's not. He Axel. No, Axel Rose in, in no white no right hair. Uh -huh. <laughs> No, no, no. I mean, who who got who guessed that? Oh no. Uh, Marcos, you go for the next one. I already did it, guys. I'm so bad at this. Oh no, teacher. It's your turn, Marcos. Go. Okay. Oh no. Very yet. good, Mavid. Good job. Marco Antonio Solis, go. <laughs> uh, I don't know, teacher. I, I, I don't know, remember to, to artistic. And uh, only that. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> Ajá. No se me ocurre nada, me dijo. Y el tiempo que le di para que pensaran, guys. Marcos. Ok, piénselo. Al final lo va a hacer. Ok, piénselo ahorita. Uh, Mabel, choose another person, please. Ok. Wait, wait, please. Un momento. Um. Linda Magali. Magali is a listener today, sorry. Está como listener ahorita. She's a listener. Eh. Lucía. Lucia, Lucia, it's your turn, Lucia. Lucia. Hello, Lucia. Lucia, Lucia. Okay, let's go with Christian then. 
Thank you, Christian. Thank you for being a volunteer. Okay. Teacher, sorry. Lisa. Sorry, Christian. ¿Qué estamos haciendo, teacher? Me desconecté un rato y no sé. You gotta sleep, right? <laughs> no, pero algo así. We are... Uh, ay, Luis. Ay, Luis, pero qué honesto. Tan chulo. Vaya, Luisito. Ve cómo lo trato. Bye. Eso estamos haciendo. Describe a famous person by saying five adjectives. Piense cinco adjetivos y una famous person. And then the rest will guess who is the person. Ok. Ahorita vamos a hacer un ejemplo de eso. Um, Mr. Christian nos va a ayudar con este example, Mr. López. Hey, teacher, hey. thank you. You're welcome. He is Salvadorian. He's, com he's a comedian. He's small. He's brown. He is he's brown skin. And Cocolito. Cocolito. Eso. <laughs> Is Cocolito? Is he Cocolito? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I know about the pitillo. Que chivo, babo. Que chivo. Hubiera dicho, and he said, que chivo, babos. Ah. <laughs> okay, so let's, who said Cocolito? ¿Quién dijo Cocolito? Estela. Ay, oh my God, good job. Pero qué lástima que no puede regresar. Ok, let's see, let's go. Christian, choose another person. Lisette del Carmen. Lisette. Hola. Uh, ok. Hello. My, my famous person is... He say... No, he was born... Born, sorry, in Portugal. Um, he's... Cristiano Ronaldo. Ronaldo. <laughs> yes. Ronaldo. <laughs> Good. Kenny, go for it, porque Marcos is not ready yet. Pero luego elijan a Marcos, ¿ok? Mm, ok, teacher. Uh, my famous person is a soccer player. Um, he have um, long hair. Um, El mágico González. No. Uh, he is from Brazil. Oh, Ronaldinho. Yeah. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> good job. Okay. Um. Oh my gosh. Choose another person, Kenny. Um. Jessica. Jessica, Jessica, Jessica. I don't know. They... No, está acá. <laughs> no, she's not here, right? No, she's not here. Another name? Um, Jonathan? Jonathan? No. Jonathan, yes, Jonathan. Hello. Hello. It's my turn. Yes. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> She is uh, an actress. It's a uh, curly. Her hair, her hair is curly. She's uh, a little fat. No, little thing. And um, mm, is the principal in a movie. So, uh, 
very much movies. Angelina Jolie. Uh, so similar, but uh, for example, her most famous movies, uh, something like that, um, Pretty Woman. Oh, yes. Julia Roberts. Julia, Julia Roberts. Roberts. That's it. <laughs> wow, how do you know about the names of actors and actresses? Wow, guys, I don't know. <laughs> Good job. Okay, Jonathan. Good job. Okay, let's see. Jonathan, choose another person. Okay, let me check. Mm. Um, Sabrina. Sabrina is right now a listener. She's a listener. Okay, okay. Ismael? Ismael! Ismael Arturo Moran Vázquez. Hello. Hello, hello. My person famous. Famosa, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. uh, he was a... Uh, how do you say futbolista in English, teacher? Soccer player. Futbolista? Yes. Ah, soccer player. He was a soccer player. Uh, is the England? He's from England, okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, he's tall and... He's tall. Mm -hmm. He's tall in Ruby English. Excuse me? How, how do you say Ruby in English? Oh, bone. Bone. Bow. He's tall and blow. Bow. Bone. Mm -hmm. Bone. Blonde, sorry, blonde. 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 Mm -hmm. Guys? Mm. What do you think? He's tall. He is tall. His ball. I mean, He's blonde. England. Sorry, I always blonde. Blonde. From England. He's from England. He's a soccer he player. A soccer player. He was or he is? He. He is, right? So, okay. Uh, he is or he was? He is. He is. He is. Era porque ya no juega. Uh, ah, he, he was. Okay. Baby Beckham. ¿Quién? David Beckham. Ajá, uh -huh. yes. David Beckham. Okay. Good job. Ok, ven lo importante oh, que es. Me Guys, <laughs> you see the, the importance of saying was, were, is, or are. Se fijan lo importante del, del tiempo. Ajá, uh -huh. good job. Ok, uh, Ismael, choose another person, please. Oh, yes. <laughs> Marielos. Marielos, let me see if she's a listener. Yes, Marielos is a listener today. She's another one. Carla. Carla. Okay. The famous person, key actor, um, rap singer, um, fan. Funny, gracioso, fan. Um, you know a French prince. Okay, what do you think, guys? He's a rap singer, right? What was the last sentence? Sorry, la última oración. Sorry. Um, conocido. He is well known. Well known. He is well known phrase phrase princess. Okay. Oh, Elvis Presley? No. No, oh. no it's not as Elvis Presley. The actor, the actor and singer. Um, it's an actor and singer, okay. Uh, the conos, uh, con 
movies. The game. Uh, I have one, but I don't. I don't want to say it, and I don't remember his name. Um, como para decir sus películas conocidas. His famous movies. His movies. His, fam uh -huh. his famous movie. The I Am Robot. Mm -hmm. Is Will Smith or yes? Sí. Oh, Will Smith. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Will Smith is a singer. Sí, the el rap, que... cantante de rap. Sí. El que cacheteó al otro. Exactly. Yes. Oh, vale. Sí. sí. Cuando hacía el príncipe de rap en Bel Air. Teacher, you have the tour of the Oh my God. No. Yo pensé en eso, pero I didn't remember his name porque soy mala para los nombres. Solo los de mis estudiantes para cuál. <risa> pero soy mala para los nombres. Pero ok. Sí, nos gusta que nos mienta, teacher. No es true, de verdad, porque lo tengo que hacer, pero soy mala para los nombres. Pero les iba a decir de que... Eh, ay, no, Luis, qué tóxico. <risa> pero les iba a decir de que... Um, que yo iba a decir algo acerca de los Oscars. Is, is it the one that is related with the Oscar show? Iba a decir. And I mm -hmm. said, no, I better not say it. So mejor no lo dije. But yes, it was Will Smith. I knew it. Okay, good. Choose the next person, Carla. That was a good Luis, one. Luis Ernesto. Ah. Because he's toxic. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Go for it, Mr. Gomez. Okay. He is very easy. Um, he is dead. <laughs> okay. He was a singer. He was curly. After he was vice king. And he was king of pop. Michael Jackson. Easy, right? Very good. Okay, Luis, choose another person. <laughs> Okay, quien falta. Ahí Don. I am ready. To Jaime pasa ready. Oh, Marcos. Jaime pasa ready. Ya pasó. So, Marcos will do it. Thank you. Okay, Marcos. Go for it, Marcos. Yes, I am ready. Okay, I'm talking about is a woman. She is a famous artistic of American. A specific, she live. She live in New York. I, I believe in. She is with with his skin, white skin. It's as a Cabello rubio, teacher. How do you say cabello rubio? Blonde. <laughs> blonde. She's blonde, blonde hair. hair. She okay, has blonde, blonde hair, sorry. She has blonde hair. She has blonde hair. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, she has a uh, she has had six boyfriends. I believe uh, when, when he, Tony Motola, other friends, other person with Miguel. Talia. Talia. No, Luis she Miguel. is um, Mariah Curry. Yeah. Mariah Curry. Yes. <laughs> no sé quién es Mariah Curry. <laughs> Christmas teacher. No, guys, I'm so bad at this. Maria Curry. Yes. Very good artistic for me. (laughs) 
los que no tenemos cable no conocemos de esas cosas. Exacto. Bueno, Cocolito, no, no, no. la tenchi, la tía. Ajá, Nubi. el chipitío. <ríe> la, <ríe> ¿cómo se llama ese? <ríe> la ciguana. <ríe> el la chifi. Ajá. Ay, el tío periquito. Tío periquito. No, guys, I'm so bad at names. Yo los conozco por la cara, por eso es que ven, soy visual, soy visual, porque yo la cara, pero I don't know about the names. So, si veo la cara de todos los actores que me han dicho, maybe, but the name, by the name, no. Ok. Mm -hmm. um, antes de continuar yo con el lado. ¿Ah? No, que yo con los futbolistas sí perdí. Le digo. Uh, we yo with all of them. Ok, guys, voy a pasar la lista rapidito and then we finish with this Lizette del Carmen Hernández, Miss Smith. Present. Carla Elizabeth Escobar Esquivel. Present. Um, Constanza Osmara Cáceres Trinidad. Zulma Yarexa Oliva Córdoba. Present. Lucía okay. Susana Chica de Claros. Marcos Amilcar Mancía Gutiérrez. Walter Alexander Lemos Medina. Sabrina Lizeth García Orellana. Marta Lidia Godínez. Marcos Antonio Melgar Pérez. Linda Magali García Montoya. Marta Lidia Godínez. Uh, Kenny Lizette Cuer de Valencia. Present teacher. Ok, thank you. Present teacher. Julio César Ramírez Arevalo. Present José teacher. Nelson. Ah, oh, ok, great. José Nelson Ruiz Moreno. Present teacher. Ok. Jorge Antonio Feliciano Rivera. Present. Uh, Jonathan Alexi González Torres. Present teacher. Jessica del Carmen Vázquez Vázquez. Jaime Antonio Velar Cortés. Present. Ismael Arturo Morán Vázquez. Present. Ileana Carolina Calderón Cisneros. Present teacher. Estela Mabel Oriana del Cid. Present teacher. Cristian José López Pérez. Present. Estel, Ángela Estefanía Marroquín Martínez. Ok, so go to the, to the next sure, one. No me mencionó. Sure. Sure. Luis Ernesto Gómez García. <laughs> Thank you. Present. So, who's the next person? You're welcome. ¿Quién va después con who am I? Mm -hmm. Nobody? Nobody, guys? Who's missing? ¿Quién falta? Porque no me quiero decir a todo, ya no voy a pagar un bien. Okay, guys, so we will continue then with the class. Okay, now it's working. Okay, let's see. Okay, so guys, today we will learn about the use of so and the use of such, okay? So, so and such are used. Give me a moment, guys. Voy a mutearlos un ratito. Sorry. Okay, guys. So and such, those are words that we use in order to, like, to go ahead and use them before the adjectives, okay? Para intensificar más algún adjetivo, ¿ok? Como por ejemplo, el que vimos anteriormente que, I don't know if, if you remember, 
como por ejemplo este que decimos very, very, ok, very, este very guys eh, es muy conocido, como por ejemplo yo digo very delicious, very um, beautiful, que en Spanish means muy, muy bonito, muy emocionante, muy atractivo, etc. Ok, so basically ese es el significado de los dos. So and such significa very, ¿ok? Solo que en algunas ocasiones el so se ocupa como para um, negativas, para situaciones negativas y positivas también. Y de hecho el such también. So, both of them are almost the same, casi que lo mismo, guys. Lo único que, que la diferencia es, es le, el pattern, la estructura que conlleva es un poco diferente, ya lo vamos a explicar, pero los dos significa muy, ¿ok? So, very, that's the meaning. Y los dos lo podemos ocupar para una situación positiva o una situación negativa. For example, para el so, el so se ocupa antes de un adjetivo. For example, That food was so delicious. Ese comida, esa comida estuvo muy deliciosa. ¿Ok? My coworkers are so nice. ¿Ok? That smell was so awful. Ah, sorry. That smell was so awful. It is so cold today. Ok, so, si ustedes se fijan, el so se ocupa antes del adjetivo, guys, y es básicamente eso. Antes del adjetivo, y significa muy, ok. Muy helado, muy delicioso, etc. ¿Sí? Ahora, ¿qué significa? Well, let's talk about sash. Que es, eh, vamos a hablar de sash. Sash es lo mismo, significa muy, se utiliza para negative and positive situations, pero la diferencia es que para el sash nosotros ocupamos, de, antes del, después del sash, sorry, hay, puede que haya un artículo, como por ejemplo los artículos que tenemos es da, an, en a. Adjetivo. Tenemos un adjetivo y después tenemos un nombre. Entonces esa es la, la, la main difference between those. ¿Ok? La, la, la diferencia. Que acá solamente se utiliza el so antes de un adjetivo. Y aquí se utiliza antes ya sea de un artículo a veces. Pero más que todo se utiliza antes de un adjetivo y un nombre. For example, that was such delicious food. ¿Ok? Si ustedes se fijan, tenemos such, tenemos delicious, que es el adjetivo, y tenemos food, que es el noun. My coworkers are such nice people. Ok, such nice people. Tenemos such, tenemos nice, que es el adjetivo, and we have noun, a people that is noun. Ok. That was such an awful smell. Ok. Sash um, sería, el, va al principio, el an es el artículo acá. Luego va el adjetivo y luego el nombre. ¿Ok? It is such a cold, is, is, it is such a cold day. ¿Ok? Such a cold day. Es, este ha sido un día muy helado. ¿Ok? ¿Cuándo lo vamos a utilizar, guys? Dependiendo que tanto ustedes quieran intensificar un adjetivo o dependiendo de cómo a usted le gusta hablar, right? That's what it is. Si usted quiere intensificar más el nombre, usted puede ocupar el sash. Si quiere intensificar más el adjetivo, va a ocupar el so, ¿ok? Now, let's repeat after me. Repeat after me, guys. That food, sorry. That food was deli so delicious. My coworkers are so nice. 
My powers are so That smell was so awful. Horrible. It is so cold today. It is so it is cold, so cold, cold today. today. Let's go with Sash. Veamos el Sash. That was such delicious food. That was such delicious food. My co-workers are such nice people. My co-workers co are such nice people. That was such an awful smell. That was such an awful smell. It is such a cold day. Ok, en Spanish, guys, en español, si yo quiero decir, uh, sorry, en Spanish, ¿qué quiero, ¿qué quiero decir con esta oración? ¿Alguien me la puede leer qué significa en español? Which uh one? -huh. This one, that was such an awful smell. Ah. In Spanish, esa comida estuvo... <coughs> um, esa comida? Ajá. Uh -huh. Smell, creo que es como... como el olor. olor. Uh -huh. Esta, esta no comida sé, tiene, es tuvo, tiene un sabor horrible. Tuvo un sabor horrible. Esa comida... Tuvo un no, mal sabor, un sabor más... horrible. Esa comida, no dice comida. No, eso, ese no. olor. Eso, no. eso es ah, ese olor. Ese color es horrible. Muy este, ah, algo así como eh, es algo así como que hubo como de... esto, esto, <risa> como esto tuvo un olor horrible. Esto, <risa> esto me <risa> huele mal. Es como decir eso, eso. Lata. Eso, that, acuérdense que that es, está lejos, that, I'm eso, sorry. ajá, eso so estuvo apestoso. muy apestoso, <risa> eso Horrible. estuvo muy, pero es una expresión, ¿verdad?, que como cuando quieren decir que estuvo realmente malo, ajá, algo así, very no. good, que realmente está muy malo, ok, pero usted lo que, si usted se fija, lo que quiere destacar aquí es como el nombre, ¿sí?, que usted quiere destacar que fue demasiado malo. Usted quiere destacar que esas personas su son súper nice. Usted quiere destacar yeah. que esa comida es súper delicious. Yeah. Yo creo que el so es normal, ¿verdad? Es más normal decir como that food was so delicious. Está bien. Pero usted quiere destacarlo más, usted dice that was such delicious food. ¿Ok? Pero such al final significa muy. ¿Ok? Mm -hmm. Muy. Muy delicioso. Muy, de, muy deliciosa, una muy deliciosa comida, ¿sí? Muy deliciosa comida. So, questions about these guys? Questions? Probablemente no lo ocupemos como mucho el sash. Si ustedes lo quieren ocupar, son súper, o sea, ustedes quieren incrementar más su vocabulario, you're good to use it. Tal vez no es muy well known, pero lo importante es que ustedes sepan qué significa, porque en muchos reading, en muchos listening, ustedes lo pueden ver. O you can listen, all right, to a movie, listen um, to uh, an audio, okay, to a song, etc. And you will uh, identify them. Lo van a identificar ahí, okay? Questions, guys, or no questions? No questions? Okay. Let's continue then. One moment, guys. Hmm. Sorry. Go to the page 40, guys. I'm in favor of the page 40 on your book. One moment. 
Mm, where is it? Mm, I believe I don't have it here. 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40. Here I have it. Let me share it. Here you have it. Okay, page 40. Guys, here we have more examples. Here we have more examples about the how to use so and such. So let's rip it after me. Tenemos más ejemplos acá, guys. It is so necessary for the company. It is so necessary for the company. It is so important to check the reports. It's so it's important to check the report. The projects were so well made. The projects were, were so, so well made. made. Our ideas were so imaginative. Our ideas, Our ideas were, were so, so imaginative. Great. Ahora let's listen to the example with Sash. Vamos a ver los ejemplos con el Sash. It is such a creative program. It is such a creative program. It is such a significant investment. It is such a significant investment. The report was such a useful tool before. The report was such a useful tool before. The last product was such a big success. The last product was such a big success. Guys, I want to ask you here. Vamos a identificar esto. Vamos a ver. Let, let's see if we have learned this. Okay, what is this, guys? Could you please tell me what is it? What is it? Eso. Eso? No, I mean the name in Spanish. Part of the speech, verb, subject, complement, uh, adjective. Uh, object. Subject. Okay. What is S? Verb to be. Verb to be. What about sash? What is sash, guys? Uh huh. Punto para el examen que me diga que es sash y so. Sash is a complement. No, it's a no compliment. It's a. What is a part of the speech? Is it an adjective, an adverb? Adverb. Uh, Other. Good job. Good job. Okay. What about point for this? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. What about a? Uh, what is a? Uh? Preposition. No, also, no, no, it's a preposition. <laughs> Demonstrative, I don't know why. What? <laughs> the article. There you go. Very good. Article, article. Tenemos tres tipos de articles. Tenemos el da. Tenemos, por ejemplo, cuando decimos the end or the information. Tenemos a, ok que significa uno, y an también, solamente que el a se ocupa después de una consonante, bueno, a, antes de una consonante y el an antes de una vocal. Por ejemplo, decimos a creative, decimos an apple, ¿ok? Ok, great. What is creative? Uh -huh. Adjective. 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 What is program? No. Ah, what is no. noun? Very good. No. It's a noun. Guys, ¿y este subject qué es? ¿Es un nombre, un pronombre? What is it? Pronouns. Pronoun. Good job, guys. Good job, okay? So, what is before here? What is before? Maybe <laughs> no. 
Oh, oh, espérame. The report was such a useful tool before. Ajá. You're, you're right, Mabel. Le iba a decir preposition, pero en este caso está funcionando como un adverb of time, porque me está diciendo, está hablando de tiempo. Before, antes. Wow. Good job, Mabel. Pero si usted lo ve normal, isolated, como solo, es una preposición, pero ahí está, es, es un adverb of time. Good. <laughs> okay, guys. Nada, solamente les quería preguntar eso. <laughs> so let's continue and complete the sentences with such or so. Vamos a completar estas oraciones con such or so. Vamos a hacer pairs. Vamos a hacer pareja, guys. Le voy a mandar este ejemplo. Give me a second. Okay. Van a ocupar el such y el so. Teacher, pero ¿cómo? How do I identify? Recuérdense que en uno se ocupa adjective plus noun con el such y con el so solamente se ocupa con el adjective. Se los mandaré al... Vamos a hacer eso, guys. And then... One moment. After this, guys, we will talk to a friend about the financial statement you pay attention the most. Say and give reason why it is important for companies you care about them, okay? Guys, ¿se acuerdan de los financial statements que estábamos hablando ayer? Que hicimos la lista y e hicimos el match exercise. Les voy a mandar esos, esos um, uh, meanings. Esas palabras se las voy a mandar y traten de con, uh, hablar con su compañero cuál de esos fin financials um, statement usted más pone atención en su vida. Por ejemplo, en mi en mi sí en mi este Oh my God, how, how, how would I say that? In my case, sorry, in my case, I pay attention to the income statement, right? Los demás, I don't know them guys, pero es lo que le pongo más atención, income statement. Entonces, why? Y ahí explica why. So, van a hacer una discusión de cuál es el que usted le pone más atención en, en why, por qué, right? Vale, vamos a hacer esos dos ejercicios y les voy a pasar acá estos financial statement. So we have, let's see, 15 minutes to do that, guys. 15 minutes y a las 9 and 50, 9.50, you will back, ok? You will go back. Se van a regresar a la main room. I will give you enough time primero para que completen session so y luego para que hablen de los financial statements that you pay attention the most, ok? So let me see. Uh, Nelson dijo de que no. Eh, Sabrina, Maggie, Yarixa, Marielos y Nelson están todavía de listeners, right? Si alguien... No, no dice, incluyamos, por favor. Yes. Very good, María. Ahorita. Marielos, la vamos a incluir. Ok, entonces, Nelson, Yarek, Samagi y Sabrina, no. Good job. Ok, ahorita, acepta, creo los breaker rooms. So, we are... Very good. Bueno. Ok. Ahorita los incluyo, guys. A todos los agrego a los breaker rooms. Questions, guys. ¿Tienen preguntas? ¿No? ¿Questions? ¿Y qué vamos a hacer? Nelson, are you kidding? No, 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 Nelson. Eh, vamos, ahí mandé las imágenes al, al este grupo de WhatsApp. Eh, vamos a eh, vamos a hacer un ejercicio eligiendo si es el sash o es el so and secondly 
hasta las 9 y 50 tienen para hacer una discusión con sus compañeros, con su pareja, acerca de uh, cuáles de los financial statements son los que usted más pone atención. Y les mandé el ejemplo que estábamos hablando ayer. Cash flow, flow income statement, equ equity <coughs> statement y balance sheet. Y usted va a decir por qué, why. ¿Por qué pone más atención, por ejemplo, al income statement? ¿Sí? ¿Questions? Marcos, good. Marcos. Yeah. Okay, great. Okay, ya los estoy asignando todo, guys. Guys, click on join, please. Telen click and join. Ya los estoy asignando a todos. Click on join. Solo veo una pantalla negra. Amilcar, ¿todo bien? Sorry que ya no le pregunté. ¿Todo good? Yes. Yes, teacher. Good. Ah, ok. Sorry. Ok, guys. Click on join, please. Click on join, guys. Ya, pero no sale. Ya le, ya le, ya lo asigné o no. Ah, no, usted no todavía no, Marco, sorry. Um, pues sí, ya salió. Room 9. Uh -huh. Room 9. Creo que voy a dejar a uno con tres. Jorge, click on join, no le aparece en la pantalla. Eh, apareció, no sé si toqué algo y se desapareció. Ah, ok, ahorita. Give me a second. Lo voy a asignar una vez. A esta no le dé clic, sino que a la segunda. One okay. moment. Ya, ahorita no, sino que um, en esta, please. Jorge. Jessica, click on join, please. You're welcome. Let me see. Ileana, click on join, please. Um, Ismael, ya lo asigno. Estela, no tiene partner. Qué raro. Okay. Bueno, voy a ir con Estela. Um, Jessica, click on join, please. Jessica, Jessica, Jessica. Jessica, click on join, please. Um, Jessica. Hello, hello, Jessica. Thank you. 
Ya tengo la imagen. Ok. Ahora sí, ya la descargué. Bye, si gusta iniciamos. Entonces decía la primera. Tú y tú. Y es good. It is good. It is good okay. to know the cash flow. They are. What are going to use? So or such. Ahí teníamos que poner eso. Cualquiera de esas dos. Es importante. Caso. So o Sash. ¿Cuál de los dos? Guys, le voy a mandar el cuadrito. So o Sash. Uh -huh. Les voy a mandar el cuadrito, sorry que les interrumpa, eh, para que se vayan guiando ahí, ¿ok? Ahorita se los mando. Al grupo de WhatsApp. Okay, Acuérdense okay. que el so eh, se utiliza antes de un adjetivo y sash se ocupa antes de un adjetivo con un nombre. Y muchas de las veces lleva también un artículo. Sí. Yes. Uh -huh. In the number one is so. Uh -huh. So, Marta, so is in the first. Okay, so. Entonces es so, el primero. Sí. Listo. Guys, sorry. Le voy a mandar a Kenny porque está solita. Sorry, guys. Ahorita uno a Kenny conoce. Ah, perfecto. Hello, Kenny. You will work with Marta and Christian, okay? Hola, Kenny. Sure. Invention. Invention. Okay. <coughs> y el otro día. Check you fail. Uh, difficult before. Shush, shush, shush. Mm. No estoy segura. Porque el, el before no es, uh -huh. no es now. Uh -huh. Es, es lo que so. decía la, la teacher, que era como un, ajá, yo creo que es so difficult. Ajá, uh -huh. so difficult. Before. But difficult is a, is an object, right? So. Ajá, pero before uh -huh. is not a noun. Ajá, uh -huh. It's not a noun. Perfect. So, sería el so. Them, them is a so. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Okay. Exactly. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, so, ever, huh? difficult before. Yes. No. Entonces, quedó la primera so. Otra so. Shoes, mm -hmm. ¿cómo? Sería... De cash flow, lo mismo, ingresos. Ah, no, sería el de eh, income and stain. Uh -huh. Como estado de resultado, ¿verdad? Correcto. Mi eh, guay. ¿Qué sería? Según lo que dice ahí de Zoom, My Saint and Company, Income Space and the Perf over a period of time. Ese sería como el de Important. Ok.
in Golden State. Mm -hmm. Ok. Como le digo, pa, para una empresa, sí, son prácticamente todo. Sí, para, por ejemplo, si están en algo, bueno, en las escuelas privadas, el estado de resultado, por ejemplo, mayor estudiante significa que hay más ingresos, ¿verdad? Más ingresos. Se aumentará el cash flow. Ajá, se aumenta el cash flow. Pero, por ejemplo, hoy con lo de la pandemia, tenemos que los colegios así pequeños no tuvieron como pérdida. Sí. Que muchos tuvieron que cerrar porque muchos eh, atienden o sobreviven solo con las colegiaturas. Entonces ahí también, entre ellas es el de cash flow y income and stay, como era el estado de resultados, comparar los años anteriores con este, con los años de la pandemia y este. Uh -huh. Que si se ha habido un aumento de de ingresos. De ingresos por alumnos. Ajá. Ok. Por ejemplo, en su, en su trabajo. Um, sí, este, para mí, quizá podría, podríamos decir, es ese, el primero. Ah, Pero también el, el, el balance sheet es el que tanto debemos, porque puede estar habiendo ingresos. Uh -huh. Pero si se debe mucho, eh, cash flow prácticamente no habrá. Exacto. Ajá, porque sí. vaya, también muchos trabajan con préstamo, ¿verdad? Muchas empresas. Sí. Entonces tienen que sacar eso y también la planilla de los empleados. ¿verdad? Los empleados, correcto. Guys, but no, try to do it in English. I know it's difficult, well, sí. but try to do it in <laughs> Thank you, guys. Ok, teacher. Ok. Thank you. Ok. And for you see in No, pero ahí déjalo. Vaya, aquí le tendría que responder yo, ¿verdad? Sí. Sí, Vale, la pregunta sería, what do you think about cash flow? Podría decir, um, eh, es importante no de, ¿dónde está esta palabra? No, pero se traba. Por eso ser.
Hello, 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 guys. ¿Me escucha? Yes. Hola. Yes, teacher. Ah, ok, ok. Sí, Todo bien. Yo no sí, lo podía que... escuchar. <ríe> ok. Thank you, guys. No veo. Dice, take to a friend about the financing statement. You pay attention to must say and give reason why it is important for company and you to care about them. Dice que tenemos que escribir las razones o, o decir las razones. Por ejemplo, usted dice que para usted es más importante el balance. ¿Por qué? Para su compañía o para usted, por ejemplo, ¿por qué? Ah, oh, porque ahí se puede ver, digamos, las deudas. Deudas en España. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Las deudas eh, con lo que cuenta la entidad como eh, el flujo más inmediato que sería la parte de los activos corrientes. Uh -huh. Y pues claro, es la parte patrimonial. Es lo que es el sostén de la entidad. La ganancia es... después de los después de los impuestos y gastos. Guys, sorry to interrupt you, but try to do it in English, please. <laughs> okay, very good, thank you. Okay, we have to speak in English. Say, so, for example, in case. I have to put attention of um, uh, money in the moment and now, uh, now for the, 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 the activities of I can say inversion. Investment? Investment. Ah, investment. The activities of investment and the activities of operation 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 and Hello, teacher. Hello, guys. Did you finish? Are you in the discussion? No? Yes, teacher. Oh, okay. Yes, teacher. Stop. Did it finish? Finish? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Sure? We, yes, we talk about the, the last topic. All right. Um, because the Walter is isn't in the last class. Oh, okay, okay. You but, was explaining to him. Yes, but we talking about the income and statement is it, is very important for for oh, him okay. for me too. But oh. I I talk with with him that in my work I. I know about the, the cash flow of flu because mm -hmm. I made a software and I need to know about this who the, the cash is in in all departments or uh, the the big companies uh, they, they 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 told me I need a form of, for for insert uh, this payment, or I need a report with this balance. I need to know about the revenues or expenses. This this topic is very common in my in my area. <laughs> in your area, really? Well, that's true. In you know, case, in your I'm case, sorry. no, right? <laughs> in, in my case, not. I don't work I with know. the account. But I think 
<clears throat> the more important is the income statement. <laughs> because yes. the, because the the company has a more outcome mm -hmm. the company has not to pay me for my work <laughs> exactly I, sorry, Jaime, that i have a a, a excel sheet in my personal finance <laughs> wow. because a, 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 a big principle of my my payment and, and my bills for months wow you know what walter maybe because of our our occupation it's difficult for us to manage that topic actually for me at the beginning it was so difficult and i was asking jorge <laughs> about <laughs> this in the class because i didn't even know that in spanish so okay he told me about el flujo efectivo and i was like okay <laughs> what is that because we don't know about this topic, maybe because of our occupation. But this is very useful for a lot of occupations, right? Maybe in our case, Jaime and I, we don't know about this, but in our company or in the institution or where we are working, they handle that, right? But that financial uh, area, but not that. <laughs> yes, because this is the, the main process in uh -huh. every every company yeah don't have a, a cash of flow don't work <laughs> really oh my god yes you're true you're right i studied the the technical but that 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 is at the domain dos 202 oh, okay to I don't remember oh, 2002 that. sorry yes. okay i don't remember that <laughs> it's fine okay yeah. uh -huh. or back to the to the soon uh-huh when is my turn to one by one? Oh, let's see thank you for asking i was actually today asking to Sabrina, but Sabrina is not here. She's a listener, so she didn't answer me. Is there any way that now that you're asking me because you're the next one, you can stay with me today? Is it fine? Yes, no problem. Okay, if not, let me know and you go tomorrow. No, today is... is today, oh. Okay, thank you, Walter. And we will go back to the main room, guys, okay? Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> yes, guys, let's come back. Do you have any other questions? I can't. Oh, I will do it right now. I will do oh. it. Sorry. Hello, guys. Thank you for coming back. Thank you, thank you guys. Uh, guys, let me see how many are you? 13 right now? I believe we're continue waiting for the rest. Um, guys, today we have the 101 session with Walter, okay? Walter se va a quedar conmigo en el 101 session. Thank you, Walter. And uh, let's see. Será que no se han regresado todos? Oh my God. No. There is still on the break. I'm sorry, Tavian. Sorry. Okay. Ya están acá todos. Thank you, guys. Thank you for joining back. Guys, before to go, antes que se vayan, tenemos un reading. It's the reading. It's called I Had Such a Great, such a great Day. Read about Kevin's day at the cinema. In this lesson, you're going to learn about the words involved. So, lean este, 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 este um, reading. Okay, let's have this reading, guys. Leanlo, please, mientras estoy pasando la lista. And once you read it, we'll discuss about this, okay? 
Thank you, guys. Vamos a hacer este reading. Léanlo, please, mientras paso la lista. Uh, Ángel Estefanía Marroquín Martínez. Cristian Josué López Pérez. Present. Estela Mabel Orellana de Cid. Present. Iliana Carolina Calderón Cisneros. Present. Teacher. Ismael Arturo Morán Vázquez. <coughs> Jaime Antonio Velar Cortés. Present. Teacher. Present. Teacher. Jessica del Carmen Vázquez Vázquez. Present. Jonathan Alexi González Torres. Jorge Antonio Feliciano Rivera. Present teacher, aquí estoy, perdón. Thank you. José Nelson Ruiz Moreno. Present teacher. Thank you. Julio César Ramírez Arevalo. Present. Kenny Lizeth Cuellar de Barrientos. Present teacher. Linda Magali García Montoya. Present teacher. Luis Ernesto Gómez García. Present teacher. Marcos Antonio Melgar Pérez. Present teacher. Marielo Janet Cornejo Erazo. Present teacher. Sabrina Lizeth García Orellana. Sabrina. Sabrina Lizeth García Orellana. Walter Alexander Lemus Medina. Present. Marcos Amil García Gutiérrez. Present teacher, sorry. Thank you. One moment. One moment. <laughs> Um, Marcos Amil Carmancía Gutiérrez, ya lo había mencionado, sorry. Lucía yes. Sena, chica de claros. Sur Margerixa Oliva Córdoba. Present. Constanza Osmara Cáceres Trinidad. Carla Elizabeth Escobar Esquivel. Present. Lisa del Carmen Hernández Miss Me. Present. Thank you guys. Okay. Yes. Sorry. I didn't hear. Okay. Then Sabrina, one moment. Present, present, present. <laughs> ok, one moment. Teacher. One moment. ¿Sí? Eh, no me mencionó. Sorry, Marta. Sorry, Marta. Yes. Marta Lidia Godínez. Present. Sorry, thank you. Ok, thank you guys. <clears throat> ok, so guys, we have this reading. Let me see. We have two minutes to read it. Um, let me read it and you repeat after me, okay? It was so hot yesterday afternoon. It was so hot yesterday, so hot yesterday. Hot afternoon. afternoon. The air conditioning wasn't working and I was such and it was such a hot day. The I decided to get out the uh, sorry, I decided to get out of the house and go for a walk in the park. I decided to get out of the house and go for a walk in the park. However, there were so many people. It was so crowded and there was such a lot of noise that I didn't go. I decided to go to the cinema, sorry. 
I love watching films. Films. I love watching I love watching films. Watching films. Science fiction science. movies are the best. Well, I think so. Science fiction. No. Science, science fiction movies are, are the best. best. Well, I think so. I think so. There was such a long queue for tickets. There was a long queue for tickets. Long queue for tickets. After buying my ticket, I decided to grab something to eat. After buying my ticket, I decided to grab something to eat. At the cinema, they always sell the same stuff, such as popcorn, chocolate, cinema, and candy. At the cinema, they always sell the same stuff, such as popcorn, chocolate, and candy. And, popcorn, chocolate, and, candy. and, it, and it's always so expensive. And it's, so, and it's so always so expensive. expensive. Anyway, when I went to the cinema, I was so happy. Anyway, when I went to the cinema, I was so happy. There were so few people that I was able to get a great seat. There were so few people that I was able to get a great seat. Best of all, the film has such a surprising ending. As of all, the, the film had such a surprising ending. Very good, guys. Since time is over, we will continue tomorrow with this reading. But as you can see, you use so and such in this reading. So we will continue tomorrow um, working on the reading. I hope that you have an amazing night. Okay, see you tomorrow, guys. And God bless you, okay? Solamente okay. Walter, you can stay with me. Thank you. Bye, Bye guys. Bye. Take care. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Uh, hello, Walter. How are you today? Bye. Good night. Good night. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo estamos? How are you? Fine? I'm fine, teacher. I'm fine. I am uh, very tired, but... Really? Nice. Oh, yeah, I'm tired as well. And yes, today is Tuesday, right? Mm -hmm. before, before the class, I go to the gym. Uh, that's the reason. So you are tired. Yes. Are, you, I, are you angry? I mean, hungry? No, no, because when I turn off the, the camera, it's because I take my drink. Oh, <laughs> yes. You need to take advantage because now it's late. I mean, 10 after 10, it's late to eat. So it's difficult. It's really difficult. And don't worry. It's fine, Walter. And nice to know that you go to the gym i wish i can go to the gym but i can now <laughs> maybe uh -huh. later i can go <laughs> because i really love um going to the be to the gym sometimes i have paid for the gym and i i i, I haven't gone to the gym that happened to me but uh -huh. whenever you go oh my god you you have that feeling you have that feeling and that motivation that you continue going and going and that's so awesome so don't stop that <laughs> Because once you stop it, it's difficult to, to retake it again. But good, good to know, Walter. So this space is created uh, to know um, about the needs, about your needs as a student, right? If there is any topic that you would like to practice more or to reinforce some topic that maybe you didn't understand and you want me to explain it again, or maybe a topic that you want to get more practice, or maybe um, any feedback, any comment, or anything that I can help you so you can continue improving your English skills. Or you can either tell me, teacher, you know what? I have problems with, uh, let's see, listening, listening skills. So could you please tell me some um, tips so I can improve it? 
So here I am in order to help you, Walter, not only with the classes or the courses that we have been working on, but also in your learning process on this second language. So here, am I, here I am. So tell me, how can I help you? <laughs> uh, no, but, but the, the course for me, it was very, very nice. I learned so much. Uh, in some occasion, I don't participate because when you assign a partner, the partner uh, sometimes don't don't speak English, speak Spanish. Mm, that's <laughs> difficult. But you push the partner, push the partner to speak in English. Jaime was 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 one that you speak English with, right? Yes, the uh, Carla, Yaritza, and Mabel speak very well too. Yes. In my case, in, in my company, I need to speak English with my boss in some occasion. Really? Okay. We have a, a meeting with people in the United States. Um, for me, it's easy to um, understand that they say, but in some occasion when I I need to to speak, I have uh, some problems. But mm -hmm. this is the rest, the reason because I take that this course <laughs> to but, improve your speaking skills. Yes, I need to practice more. But my we we have uh, another with with another com uh, coworker, but. Mm -hmm. When we make the direction to, to to enter to the course, to enter the course, but but to to know about uh, to know in which uh, level you oh, okay need to start. Uh -huh. uh, he he um he is in the intermediate. Fight. <laughs> really? And I, I end up in, in this in this school, but and basic. And basic, but That's weird. was because I take the the exam and and don't pay attention. I only you didn't pay attention. Answer. Oh <laughs> my god! Really? <laughs> but uh, at the end of this course, I I went to take another time mm. the the exam. Okay. <laughs> Yes, Walter, I know sometimes it is difficult like that because you would like to get in a, in, a, in a higher level, right? So you can practice more and more and not basic. But I believe that something you will learn from the basic. Actually, this is the four. We almost go to intermediate, but we're still missing uh, to go to the intermediate, right? So he's in intermediate five. Wow, he's in that, I mean, more advanced, right? But uh, Walter, maybe you can go ahead and talk with Insta4 and ask them to retake the exam again. Maybe they can, I don't know. I don't know about the, those, I mean, that the, the administrative area and all of this, I don't know, but maybe you can ask them, right? Maybe there is a chance, maybe not. If not, then uh, we will continue here, Walter, and I'm pretty sure that you will continue learning a lot. But yes, that is good to know. And whenever I access to the breakout rooms, I always say, please, guys, let's speak in English because okay. they some of them, they continue speaking in Spanish. But what I what I have noticed as well is that whenever there is a person speaking in Spanish and the other one speaks English very well, the other person accommodates the himself or herself and continue speaking in Spanish because the other person has started. So I always said, no guys, let's continue in English, right? And they start in, they start in English, but I really need to continue pushing them, right? To speak in, in English. Um, in my, I mean, my recommendation for you, uh, it's good to tell me, is that it's good that you tell me that in your job, you, uh, practice the this language which is 
Very good, because at the end you're practicing almost every day, right? And that helped you a lot. For some of the participants, it's difficult because they don't practice. I mean, they don't have anyone to practice with, but you have someone to practice with. So whenever you have the chance, Walter, let's practice and practice. And whenever you are in a breakout room, push the other person to practice in English. Say, yeah. let's practice in English. <laughs> yeah. And I will try for the rest of the, I believe that course is about to end, but for the other three days, to put you with a person that is speaking English so you can continue, um, um, you know, practicing, okay? Yes, but when I speak English, when my partner, I, I think that they don't understand. <laughs> right? That happens, I, that I, happens. I, Sometimes you feel that the other person that is not understanding what you're saying, but at the end you need to continue doing it because I mean, anyway, right? Anyway, we can, we, sh we should continue practicing in English. So um, thank you for that. Walter, that helped me a lot. And that's the reason I really love the, those one-on-one -on -one sessions because I really know what the participants um, think about it. And you know what? I have gotten many experiences that the participants have told me, teacher, I don't understand what you're telling me. You speak too much English. Oh, come on, this is the purpose. I'm sorry, but I will continue speaking in English. And sometimes I switch to a Spanish and that, that shouldn't be that, right? But um, in these programs, we have the chance to do it because of many things. So that's what I do it. But we're about to uh, to finish this course, the basic one. So we need to start speaking in, in English all the time. Yes, and your accent and the other people in the course is very easy for me because I understand all that you said. But when I hear to my, my boss or people in the United States, it's very different because it's they very are different. the English and is in some occasion, I don't understand all the, that they say, but yeah. I have a, an idea. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I know this is because of, uh, because they are native. I mean, some of them are native or even though they are not native, they uh, live there. So the environment that they have, it's English all the time. So they are, they, I mean, they learn to speak in that way because what they listen to every single day so in our case it's difficult to get that pronunciation that intonation and that that accent because maybe we don't practice every single day or we don't listen every single day these people or we are not living there or we are not from this place so that's what happens but whenever you're talking with a native one it's different completely different right the accent is difficult and you feel that they are speaking fast <laughs> and you don't understand the words it is because they are always making short all the things that they are saying they use a lot of contracts um what else? And they try to join the sounds. All the time they try to join the sound and you don't know what word that person is saying because they are joining the sound. So that is the reason why. Uh, Walter, what I wanted to tell you is this, continue practicing. The other thing is that there is an application, very good application. I mean, if you have time, that application is hello talk. Hello, like hello and talk, like hablar, right? Hello uh talk. Uh, that application is for people that wants to um, learn a second language, right? Or a foreign language. You can talk with people from another country. I mean, native speakers, because this uh, application is made for that purpose. And I really like that. I have already used it and I really like it because people, I mean, their purpose is learning. It's not doing anything else. You can send audios, you can receive audios, but the purpose it, there is to uh, send, how do you say that, the friends request, to send the friends request and to talk, to start talking with people. I mean, uh, sometimes 
we feel maybe embarrassing to talk and to start talking, but if you want to learn, let's just start talking with them. So I will go ahead and send you this application and whenever you would like to, uh, if you want to uh, practice with someone else, um, I'm over there. So if you want to send me an audio, hey teacher, how are you today? I can go ahead and continue practicing with you, okay? Because sometimes particip the, my participants or my students don't have, um, I mean, with another person to talk with or to practice with. So I always say, if you want, you can talk to me. You can send me an audio and I will go ahead and answer it. Yes. So, you, you, send, you send a link for this application. I download it. You download it? Ah, okay. Great. But my problem is I don't have a, a lot of time to. Mm, I got it. Yeah. But, so it's better to continue work i mean to continue practicing that in your job <laughs> yes yes because this is is uh it's mandatory in my job <laughs> yes it's mandatory it's mandatory i mean um but because i i work in my house because it's a home office the work but the company is in virginia in the United States, but I got it. Nice. I got it. Wow, that is why you're telling me that it's difficult to understand your boss, right? Because he's from there. Yes, but my my the CEO is is a woman. She is uh, from Romania and and Argelia. Really? Yes. Wow. She, she, before the, she was, uh, uh, the company, she was a uh, American culture teacher in the United States. <laughs> she know she speak seven language. Seven language. And how's her accent? Is it difficult? No. It's no. Very, very well. Okay. In Spanish, in Portuguese, in Spanish word. Okay. Yes, Chinese, wow. and English, and, and the Roman, Romanian language. Really? Oh my <laughs> God. And we are um, struggling with a second language, right? <laughs> <laughs> yes. And she but knows seven languages? Wow. I have a, a, another. Uh, co worker in the United States that they uh, they uh, speak Spanish but is uh, a basic. Wow, so it's a basic one. Wow, okay, so it was difficult for him to understand you, right? <laughs> yes. Oh it's my god. Situation that, that when they, they speak, I, I have a, a, some trouble to do. To, understand but they have a, the, the same problem because we we have a office in the here in the in the Salvador yes, um there are 28 people here um in the United mm -hmm. States there are uh 16 people in the company but every 15 days we have a general meeting and all the people participate in a dynamic or uh -huh. some topic that they send by email. But I, 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 if, if for, for me today is, is, is nice. I mm -hmm. learn so much. Um, but do you speak in English or in Spanish or oh, both of them? <laughs> both. Okay. Because the the husband of my of, of the CEO he speaks very well Spanish because he's is is Cuba Cuban. Oh really? He's from Cuba? Cuba? Okay. Yes. And they in some location uh, he in some location speak Spanish <laughs> or or in English, but it's nice, it's nice. The environment is, is very very nice. Wow. Well, I'm really glad to hear that you're, I mean, that you really enjoy your job, right? Because sometimes it's difficult to hear that. 
And that's really nice that you are learning a lot every single day. And that is going to help you a lot. But at the same time, right, it, it, it is going to help you as well to be in a course, in an English uh, course, so you can continue growing with your learning process, right? So, um, Walter, whenever you have any question, any comment, any feedback, please uh, don't hesitate to tell me, all right? Send me a WhatsApp or tell me in the class right sometimes but you know what at the beginning i thought that you were you was um i mean that you were so shy and you didn't want to speak <laughs> but you have a good fluency so take advantage of that to participate in class because sometimes i feel alone sometimes the jaime christian or oh, christian doesn't speak to much right now but before he was very talkative so sometimes Arena and Jaime are the only ones that are helping me. So please be the other one, be the, 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 the person number three that you can help me because sometimes they are very quiet. And obviously it is because they are learning. Some of them feel embarrassing of participating. So that's what I, want, what I wanted to tell you. Uh, and I just want to ask you if you might be having any questions about the topics, any doubts, Walter, so that I can help you with. Thank you. But for this moment, everything good. Okay, yes. Okay, that's amazing then, Walter. Thank you very much for sharing uh, about your job with me. Thank you for your time. And whenever you want to practice, feel free to send me a message or an audio, okay? I will be there. Okay. Maybe I don't speak like a native when I wish uh, to speak like that, but I can help you, <laughs> okay? <laughs> so thank you, Walter. And it was a pleasure to speak to you today. And I hope you have an amazing night, okay? Thank you so much, teacher. And good night, too. Good night. Bye-bye. Take care.